Okay, now oh, they can hear okay. us. Now they can hear us, though. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the table. We are working on uh, getting everyone's visuals up here at Table's Edge. Hey, look, uh, two two out of four. That's cute. Uh, we are playing session four of A City Apart, our single city Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition campaign. Uh, oh, look, we're all there. Hot. Session look at you, four beautiful already. people. Session four. Unbelievable. Time flies. I believe where we left off was in uh, a small little hold in the Eve's Law uh, in the center of the city um, during a a little bit of a party, right? Yes, sir. Uh, having a feast uh, that is maybe a bigger affair than you were expecting. Um, the the main food available, although it seems that there's a lot others, is the uh, water bear that you were able to defeat just the day before. Um, and I believe uh, two two of our intrepid heroes. I honestly don't know what the <laughs> word intrepid means. Uh, Mina and um, Riawen were outside of the longhouse within this hold, uh, around the bonfire, dancing, having fun. Uh, Vogwai just presented a meal uh, with all the wrong kind of fanfare to uh, one of the Dukes of the Eve's Law, who no one was expecting to be there. Um, and uh, as Vogwai walks away, head hung, unsure what he's doing with himself. Uh, let's jump to the other two, Riawin and Mina. Outside, it is dark, but uh, lit up by this blazing bonfire, music playing, people dancing around, uh, drinks aplenty. Actually, you're not sure. You you filled your cups uh, inside the longhouse, but you see, keep seeing people like disappear for a second, come back with drinks. You think there must be some sort of source of alcohol closer? Uh, to where you are, too. Somewhere out here, you're not sure. Um, but uh, what are you two up to? Mina, there seems to be some honey juice nearby, and I really need to get a refill right now. Okay, let's investigate. Investigate we shall. <laughs> okay, um, we probably want to roll a check here. <laughs> For investigation? Ooh, perception. <laughs> Uh, what are you or trying? No, no. To, what Nature. are you trying to do? What are you trying to? What are you trying to do? Uh, I, I want to see where, where the people with the full horns come from. Oh, this is a perception check. Oh yeah. <laughs> Roll to perceive. <laughs> My senses are altered by the alcohol. <laughs> uh, you kind of like spin around a little bit, and everyone see um mug and they're all sorts of different things some people have like like small like stone cups these big wooden mugs some people have like drinking horns kind of anything they can grab uh you're pretty sure you see one guy he's kind of far away and on this side of the bonfire you're pretty sure he's drinking out of a bucket um uh but you, you can't tell where they're coming from with all of these beverages you do uh instead you do notice uh someone who you had met earlier that day? The day before, actually, I think. Um, is it who I think it is? The, uh, I, I'm just going to tell you who it is, <laughs> and then you can tell me if that's who you thought. Uh, it is Obsession, the yes, Pakirti Crew healer woman <laughs> with these uh, kind of baggy clothes. Uh, she click clacks a lot when she walks, although there's so much noise you can't really hear, but she doesn't have so many things, uh, jangly things like hanging off of her around her waist, around her neck. Um, she actually has, like, things, like, hanging off of her two horns that prop up, that kind of, like, clack next to her head. Uh, and you see her not terribly close to you, kind of walking across where the bonfire is. Um, oh, look, I just got my steps for the day sitting here recounting this. <laughs> uh, and... She's still um, topless or cool this time? Uh, no, 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 no. Aww. She is wearing clothes, although, like, very loose, ba loose and baggy. Uh, this elderly ox woman. Uh, that you see kind of walk across the bonfire, but that's that's what you got. I think you're you're starting to feel a little bit, you know, a little bit a little bit loose. 
paying attention to things isn't really, you know, a thing to do. Mina, look, it's obsession. Oh, do you want to go say hi? I, I think Rhea kind of... And they look down at you, Mina, and they go, do you want to go see obsession? Sure, why not? Okay. She's, she seems nice. <laughs> Let's go. And, uh... I'll grab uh, Rhea's hand and I'll like lead her. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you guys gotta like take this big wide berth around the bonfire. It's quite warm to be too close to it. Uh, and as you go around, uh, you see Obsession talking to this like child, like but she's like bent all the way over with a hand on his shoulder. Uh, and it's again, it's loud here. You can't really hear what she's saying. Doesn't seem to have noticed you. <laughs> Now go. Get me a big one. And, like, slaps the kid in the side of the head, and the kid kind of, like, turns and takes off. And she, like, turns back to you and stands up kind of slowly. Like, you know, she's got some back stuff going on uh, to her full height. And says, What? Hey. Hi. Welcome. Is your, uh, is your, is your back bothering you? My back? Uh, yes, it is bothering me. It hurts. The pain is bothersome. I was told My... I give great massages. And... If I take a look at it? Look at my back? Uh, Mina, make a persuasion check to try to get her shirt off for the second scene she's done in. <laughs> I know your wily tricks. She no. says, ah, That boy will be drink and it will take care of my back. Where is the boy? She's gonna roll a perception check to find this little shit. Oh, she's better than we are. Oh, she, she sees, and you see this kid uh, with, like, his back to her, and he does not realize that she sees him not getting her a drink, which is obviously what he, she asked him to do. And her eyes narrow, she says, Excuse me. And just starts, like, lumbering over to where he is. Rhea kind of just goes like, Oh. <laughs> She's clearly a bit drunk by now. <laughs> Can I look around and just see, like, if I see anyone else I recognize in this, like, outside? Yeah. Me Why don't too. you make a perception check as Vogue? I ask, what are you up to? Me too. I want to find out. Like, are you heading back outside? Or are you? Wow. <laughs> Double one, baby. Nice, nice. Um, I am trying to catch my breath and get out of this crowd because I'm still having palpitations after that social interaction, um, and I'm trying to get out back of the tent where hopefully there's a fewer people. Uh, out, out back of the long house. Sure. Yeah, I think you, you step outside of the longhouse and you're kind of like looking around for um, somewhere to be because, you know, directly outside of the door is a lot of people coming in and out. Uh, and I think you fully see Mina, but she doesn't see you. And she's like <laughs> looking around for someone and she just like face plants right into you. Ooh. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, folk. Hi. Looking for something? No, uh, not really. How's it going? Yeah, uh, I mean, the dish was good, but the presentation was terrible. And presentations Did you like garnish it? No, no, I just didn't know who, who how to serve it. They they don't do sit down meals here. Apparently, you can hand it to him and he just fingers it. You know, like, <laughs> I, I, how am I supposed to know and explain this to me? <clears throat> terrible. I I was so close to making a good impression. Wait, so you're saying the dish was good, but something happened when you went to serve it? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the dish was amazing. I, I cooked it, but the, uh, it was, I, mean, I just, uh, I'm supposed to serve the Duke. I didn't know how to serve him. He wasn't sitting. He no, was in conversation. No, about, about the dish, you said it was really good. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, I, I ended up naming it Liver in the Clouds because, I don't know, it sounded interesting and... But it was, you know, liver, onions, curry, typical kind of presentation oh. with uh, edible flowers. Oh, hi! Hi! 
and you you see you hear it from inside because you're kind of like at the doorway, uh, and you actually uh, for the first time since you've been here today see, see Arledge, and he's kind of far away, but he like just noticed you through the door and is like like jumping up and like waving and like it, trying to push through the crowd to get closer to you. And I think that Mina's you know? a little like automatically a little bit distracted by that, but like turns back to him and says, "It sounds like it was wonderful." And I'll um, just go in for a hug. Okay, thanks, Mina. You did great. I appreciate it. Who cares about how you serve something if it tastes delicious? Uh, And at this point, Arledge has made his way over to you, and and his face is fucking red. Uh, He's obviously had uh, a few for his, like, small teenage frame, and he's like, "Uh, Hello, (laughs) my friends. Uh, so good to see you. Uh, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, welcome to the feast. Uh, I'm a little off the breath. I just, I don't know why. It's weird. Well, you made it. You made it to us. I'll kind of step back and let Mina step forward. And uh, when the eyes are off me, I will take my first hit of spree to try to recover from this. Oh, idea. make a stealth check to try, or a sleight of hand uh, to try to take it without people. A birdie! Yeah. Yeah, you you uh, just turn turn your back a little bit and like down this pixie stick of drugs really quick. Oh, hi. So, hi. hi. Oh. Uh, um. <laughs> thank you for coming. And he's like done up. He's dressed very very fancy. Uh, like this is the first time you've seen him. Like, yep, he's a he's a little noble kid. Definitely is. Um, and you know, like standing tall. This big mug of ale that, like, a little bit of it sloshes as he's, like, sh- um, shifting from foot to foot. And he says, uh, please, yeah, you don't have to spend your time out here. You can come into the longhouse if you would like to. Uh, you're more than welcome. Um, that, that sounds great. Um, are, are you having a good time at the party so far? I'm having a great time? Yes, absolutely. This is, um, it's, you know, it's something to be at the feast where where your kill is the main part of the, the, the celebration. It's it's very nice. Did you know? Did you know, you know the duke? The duke came today. The duke. That's who I was serving. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, m- mother told me that she was supposed to have a meeting with the duke today, and uh, that uh, she she still wanted to have the, the party, and that way she would just invite him, and they made it work. Uh, very exciting. I think it's making me look good in the duke's eyes. What does it mean to to be a duke? Oh, the duke. um, uh, There are three dukes in the East Law. And uh, Duke Olin, who is here today, is uh, uh, he is uh, my mother is one of his vassals. He's kind of like my mother's. uh, What's the Mah- Mahanatam is for the rest of the city. Uh, the Duke is a bit for my mother, I guess. But I know what that term means, Matt. Uh, what, you, what he just said. The Mahanatam? Yes. Mahanatam? I know that word. Like, would Mina would be familiar with that? What would Mina be familiar? The Mahanatam, you're definitely familiar. Those are the people that are in control of the city. Uh, that's those, like that's... the political elite, or? Yeah, it's. Um... Uh, you can roll a history check. To kind of see how much you know about them. So those, yeah, just... I'll, I'll give you the basis while I'm talking, and then I'll, I might give you more based on that. So, um, oh. the Mahanat Nat twenty twenty four, <laughs> pretty fucking good. Uh, I don't know so why I mean is two Nat two Nat ones, two in the two Nat ones, <laughs> and then two Nat twenties. That's what kind of will be, people, folks. Let's uh, just settle in I'll here. Be chaotic I'm all ready for it. Uh, I don't know why Mina's so fucking dialed into the politics of uh, the greater city. So uh, there are different power structures in the city, right? You guys know that, like, the university has its own thing. The Eve's Law has its own thing with, like, these these dukes, this nobility structure. Um, But hypothetically, at least, the Mahanatam are in charge of the entire city. Uh, they are a council, right? Uh, a group of 12 individuals that um, nobody knows. How many, who they, how many did you 12? say? 
There are 12. <laughs> da da dun. Ah, uh, nobody knows who they are. Uh, they meet in secret. Just when we thought we were done with them. <laughs> they, they meet in secret. Uh, and they... Uh, they kind of have other avenues to get anything they decree out to the people. Uh, but they are hypothetically in charge of and um, in control of the defense of all of Parsa. Yes, Willie told me all about them. He said they were they were taking they were they were poisoning the water so there would there would be less grunion oh. to drive them out of business. Willie Willie is your magical teacher. Your instructor in the, the arcane arts. I don't have any. I don't. Uh, I don't talk about that. Oh, oh, I, 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 I did not mean to put my foot in my mouth like that. Uh, uh, so I'm sorry, Miss Mina. Uh, it's okay. But are they? Are your people? Are they okay with that? I don't think they'd be okay with poisoning water to kill fishes. No, that's the grunions. Um, no, but like, with magic? Are they? Oh, yes, we don't have much of it. Uh, I mean, obsession freaks people the fuck out, but I think it's less about the magic and more about just her whole thing she's got <laughs> going on. Uh, there, most of the villages, uh, at least the larger ones, do have some sort of magic person some shamans some some actual uh, wizards from the university you have you have your own where does it come from oh um obsession lives in the little tent thing on the side of the longhouse no I mean where does where does your people's magic come from? Oh. Uh, Miss Mina, I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm being so obtuse today. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh. I'll just slap him on the shoulder. Oh. Come on, oh. perk up. Uh, 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 good to see. And he kind of like like slaps you back a little bit. Like, uh, this, uh, welcome. Uh, oh, and Miss Rhea win as well. Good to see you. Uh, my people's magic... From the gods, I assume. That is where the little bit of magic I have been studying comes from. From, from your gods? From the gods, yes. I see. Uh, yes, I, I have been studying um, the ways of uh, Shakti. <laughs> Cats are everywhere, and this god damn, they must smell just good. That cat best. just ate your mic, and it was amazing. It was the best sound effect. I loved it. <laughs> um, yes, I, I am studying Shakti. I, I'm not sure, but I think my mother is talking to King Olin to see if they will take me into his hold to, to study there. Mm. Would you like that? would make sense. Uh, I, I, I am a bit stifled in my studies. Uh, obsession does not worship uh, Shakti in the same mm. way. I actually don't quite know what she does. She's creepy. Um, great woman, though. I, Very uh, nice lady. Help me out. Yeah. Uh, great, strong backhand. Oh. I'm sure. Yes, I, I suppose I'm not not so sure, but yeah, yes, mine comes from. I pray to Shakti, and and he he helps me. It, it is how I was able to to assist you, Miss Mina, after the battle. See, and and when you take over, when you become Viscount, you you will also be the Duke's vassal. Uh, roll an insight check. As he says, uh, yes, yes. Uh, he 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 takes a beat for a minute, 
and kind of like looks over to where the Duke is. And as, as crowded as it is, he does seem to stand out. This big man with his big black bushy beard. It can't, and you, you see him kind of like get a little quiet, a little, not quite nervous, but some sort of internal anxiety there as he looks towards the Duke and then he looks towards his mother still sitting on her big throne. Um, and then, yeah. yes, yes, uh, I am now and my family are vassals of, uh, of Duke Olin. you like to dance? Oh. Uh, I... Just say yes already. Um. Uh, roll up, give it persuasion. Give it at advantage, both because he wants to and he's drunk. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Mike, what the fuck? Oh my god, the rolls today. <laughs> oh, Miss Mina, I would, I would love to dance. Oh, it sounds like the song just ended. Oh, they're starting another one here! And he grabs your hand and he, like, <laughs> pulls you uh in t- the direction of the fire like I see, uh, and i i just flip my fan to to Rhea as i go to, to the dance floor yeah uh so um arlen and mina run off and they start dancing uh, with everyone else kind of around the fire other people seem to be um kind of intrigued and like excited that like they're they're little the the little noble boy of the town uh is like dancing with everyone outside of the longhouse here, uh, leaving uh, Vogwai and Riowen uh, alone together. I think as soon as they leave, uh, Ria turns to face Vogwai, and she grabs his shoulders. You can see she's a bit tipsy, but not enough to, like, not make sense, okay? So she grabs you by the shoulder, she goes, You know, I, I really need you to know something. Mm. I'm so proud of you. What you did tonight, it's such a huge step up for you. Really, it's the beginning of something amazing. Well, thanks, I guess. That feels good. Let me see that. I'll grab the no, fan no, no. from Bef- you. They kind of shake you and they go, you don't get it, Vogue. And she cups your face in both her hands. I'm so proud of you. Okay, looks like I got some catching up to do. But thanks for you. I hear you. Well, if you'll excuse me, I think love is around the corner tonight, and I'll slip into the longhouse. I will follow in pursuit of a bear dish to try for myself and my young friend Feral. Uh, yeah, you go into the longhouse, and you um, uh, there's food fucking everywhere now. Now that they've been, like there's on all of these long tables, there's a bunch of people sitting down, but you see other people like reaching over them, uh, like to grab food too. Some people are standing up and walking around with food. Some people are sitting down to eat. Um, Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any particular uh, meal. Uh, You even notice that um, the Arson woman who uh, was with the Duke has now like stepped away from him a bit and is actually standing up and like eating with her hands herself as well from the plate that she's carrying around. Well, avoid her at all costs, uh, but try to find um, a platter to collect from. Do I see love? Um, uh, she was last with the um, Viscountess. Viscountess. Uh, she's probably still around her. So yeah, I think you you notice her pretty quickly. Is she like busy? Um, she seems busy. Hard to, hard to know if she's doing that thing, like, you know, where you just walk around with a clipboard so you appear busy to your boss, or if she actually is busy. Uh, but, yeah, she does appear to be busy. She's kind of, like, surveying the room, looking around. Can I try uh, to make she, eye contact? Uh, yeah, she's, as she's looking, she kind of, like, looks over at you and holds that eye contact for a sec. Okay, I... I, I, I go to her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, as you walk over, she kind of, like, stands up, um, and, like, waits for you. Someone walks by, and she says, says, like, a quick kind of, like, hi or something, and then the other person walks away, but she stays and waits as you walk over to her. I think I kind of, I walk to her, and I give her, like, a a small head bow, and then I, I place myself next to her, so I'm not facing her, and I'm looking at the, the room, and I go, 
So tell me, what does a Tain do exactly on a night such as this? What do I do? <laughs> Same as I always do, I serve the Vicomtes. Since we are hosting, I suppose it is our job to make sure everyone's happy, having a good time. Are you? Are you enjoying yourself? Well, you see, if you are responsible for my enjoyment, then I suggest you have a dance with me. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, that will be impossible this evening. Not at all. Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's It wouldn't be proper for us to go out and dance with the other. And she looks out and sees... Um, Uh, she sees Arledge dancing, and she kind of goes, eh, It just wouldn't be proper. <laughs> well, surely... Rules are meant to be danced around, don't you think? Quite a bit. Deep. No, uh, rules are actually meant to be followed to the exact letter of the law at all times. And it's actually my job to make sure that this is what's happening. Love, you break my heart. Perhaps I'll get you alone at the end that. of the night then. When all rules have been followed and everyone goes on their merry way. Miss Rio, uh, another evening perhaps. But <laughs> I would. I would like to see the different shades of red that cover you. <laughs> and like as you like have that moment of like stunned silence she like nods she just nods to you very casually like she just said bye and like just continues on her way I think I'm in love <laughs> not yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> yes Uh, you actually see, um, and, and since you're there, and I think Vogue goes and he gets, like, his plate of food, um, and it's all quite good and very, very well prepared. Um, as you uh, and Rio and kind of, like, like catch eyes across the room, and you both notice that the, um, the Vicountess starts to get up, and as she starts to get up, Love makes her way to her very, very quickly and, like, says something to her and then she sits back down uh, with, like, an annoyed look on her face. Outside, um... Uh -oh. Mina, you, you've kind of been dancing around the fire. Other people are kind of clapping. Uh, not that, like, your dance is particularly impressive. You know, it's not the kind of thing where, like, you start a tango and everyone else stops dancing <laughs> in a movie or something. But... You know, it's 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 the the young young noble boy is dancing and everyone's else being polite and kind of like uh, it's a very quick dance, um, very lively. And I think like after a while, he like he pulls you off to the side as you're both like breathing heavy. He says, "Miss me, no, uh, <laughs> we should get the drink." I'd like that. Um, uh, come, come. <laughs> we'll have. Uh, do you have a cup? Should I get I you one? Yes, I, oh. I have right here. Uh, and good. And he like he's like very eager as he's like like pulling you like leading you through and um like like sneaking through all the people back into the long house, um and just ar as he gets to the um as he gets to this the, the big kind of like vat of booze that is there that is down now a good half a foot more than it was the last time you were at it and like dumps his cup in um and like like steps back so that you can do the same uh the the countess does stand up uh fully and as she kind of stands up um everyone else kind of stops for a second uh and turns towards her kind of like the clanging of plates um quiets down a bit as heads start to turn in her direction. 
I, I lean and... towards Vogue. What's happening? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and she actually stands up on her chair. <laughs> like she's standing oh. on the throne. Oh. Uh, above everybody. Serious. And she like says, She's going to dance. Is this what Cole's look like? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, one and all, to our hall today. We welcome, of course, Duke Olin. And everyone goes, oh, they make some sort of some sort of affirming affirmation noise. Um, um, And we think, of course, my son, Arledge, and his companions are bringing down the great beast that we feast on this evening. And everyone. Uh, everyone at that, like some people just kind of like, but others start yelling skull and like everyone's kind of like, like takes a big swig and it gets a bit louder. Um, for... It does get louder. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking raucous uh, for, for, for a couple minutes. And she kind of waits and then doesn't wait till everyone gets quiet before she goes on. And she says. The many years we have been here. Serving under Duke Olin have been the greatest of our family. It is wonderful to have such such a capable son to take on the family legacy moving forward. And you can see people are like, uh, Mina, people actually like nudge you aside a little bit as they, they're, they're like nudging Arlinge, much bigger, much bigger men um, <laughs> that have been spending quite a bit of time around this uh, alcohol vat. Um, and she says, so people from here in my home, people from abroad, we welcome you and we invite you to feast until the sun comes up. And if you fall asleep, may your dreams be pleasant and the piss in your pants be minimal. <laughs> and again, everyone kind of gives a skull, skull, and they drink. Uh, and she kind of like nods and smiles and walks off um, immediately, slowly, but directly uh, towards Duke Olin. Uh, as everyone kind of like chatting, talking again, goes back a bit more to what they were doing. Um, leaving you to your devices. A lot of people are like smacking Arledge on, on the back and stuff. Mita, you, you suddenly feel a bit isolated from the room. Uh, as they crowd him just in congratulations. Um, and you think his attention has been taken for at least the the immediate future. Can I see if Rhea and Vogue are around, like inside the longhouse? Yeah, they definitely are. Uh, and I think the three of you, like in your separate points on the longhouse, all of your eyes kind of meet and you all you all see each other. Do, do I, I would wait make my way towards them. Do I? Can I just make like a, a quick check to see if I see anyone from the famine? Mm, Which I nice. doubt, yeah. but. Um. Yeah, make a perception check. Ah. Uh, spicy. Nineteen. Nineteen. Is pretty damn good. I'd say so too. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking around, you do not see anyone that you recognize from the famine. Good. But but you remember though that um, the famine are quite specifically uh, the the section of a larger group that um, that kind of like has has that underground control mm -hmm. in the western farmlands. Okay. And, and looking around you do see other individuals like a couple of them in fact like are eyes darting. Um you notice some people that are kind of like dr like pretending to drink but not really standing next to other important looking people like some sort of data gatherers that kind of thing. like like you kind of notice the game going okay. on if that makes sense yeah uh, as as all of you kind of meet up towards can i pass thing. can i pass by on my way um the the green uh dragon uh thing that's abishai. here abishai that's here sure uh you kind of like 
skirt around a little bit to get past this Abishai who uh, seems to have had the food that's in front of him. Like he's, he's kind of like done eating and is drinking out of this much more delicate looking goblet than his like large form. Uh, will you blink? He'd believe he would um, prefer. Is he talking to anyone? At huh. this moment, he's not. He's sitting with other people, but he actually seems detached from the conversation that's happening around him. You, you did notice earlier he was talking to people, not currently. Okay, as I'm stopping by, uh, as I'm passing by, um, uh, Timothy will uh, just fly over and, uh, like, under the just like perch under the bench uh, beneath, uh, beneath this one, beneath sure. this figure, and I'll walk over to them. Yeah. Uh, Timothy doesn't seem terrible. Um, he doesn't seem noticed at this okay. point. This, if this he gets than... swallowed off and killed, I swear to God, I'm rioting. Well, I had him on the, I have him on the, on the underside of the bed. If there is like yeah. a bed or okay. Okay. Hopefully or... no one slaps him when he flies by. Yeah, try. Um, and now I'll walk, yeah, I'll walk over to them. Yeah, you're all together. I'm still thinking about what Love said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still stuffing my face and drinking. What what is the booze in the vat? Is it ale? Uh, it is ale. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Mina. Nice dancing. Thanks. So did the two of you kiss just yet? No. Aww. Not. He's busy. He's really. He has people who he has to talk to. Um. Yeah. So he's talking to those important. Important little fell hey. Maybe you'll get a title if you, you know. No. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Let's not, not put the card before the horse, Sorry. eh? Sorry, yep. My bad. A bit too much alcohol in the system. How about you? Did you have any. Did you find love? I think <laughs> I did. <laughs> She's just got the perfect name. Every sentence when you mention her sounds <laughs> music. I mean, have you seen her? Oh. oh, I've seen her. She's got a mean arm on that one. Right into the table. That something else means about her. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't say that right, but you get it. <laughs> Good effort. I'm I'm so happy to be here with both of you. Oh, thank you. you. Yes, pretty decent party. Do you like, like that the bar is open. What was that, Rhea? Do you like your dress, Mina? I do. Your mom's... Your mom's really talented. I elbow Vogue. My mom did that. That's phenomenal work. I will take my fan back, though. Oh, yeah, I've been, uh... I got a little bit of a sweat there. Uh, I, I was gonna say, I didn't know where I left it. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say, there's this little boy out there. Farrell's his name. He asked for a plate of bear. I don't think they let just anyone in the longhouse to eat. And uh, the ones outside there probably aren't going to get any. You guys want to help me find him? Make his night? Sure, but I don't want to get lost in the crowd. Rhea, could you hold my hand? Yeah. <laughs> hold and hand. as she grabs my hand to lead me, I switch to hearing through. Um, oh, you mm, sneaky uh, little Timothy. thing. And as you switch, you do hear um, that this Abishai is talking. And I think you like you weren't looking super close, um, but you do hear this strange voice speaking. Um, as he says, "Yes, it is always nice to visit the Eve's Law. Your people here do put on quite a celebration." Excuse me. I must speak to someone. Uh, and I think that catches you as you guys are like walking out. And I think you guys see Mina like fully turn to watch uh, this Abishai uh, very large and stand up and just <coughs> kind of go out a little bit. And others kind of like veer back, like not wanting to touch, almost like to be touched by this creature could in some way harm them. Just the, just the physical touch. What's he wearing, if anything? Yeah, um, he's wearing actually fairly what you would imagine are 
more fine looking clothes for someone who needs shit that isn't going to rip. It's like toughened leathers, mm. um, but with some like embroidery of like brass or something mm. um, that you see as well. Uh, it looks very different than what everyone else is wearing, but obviously supposed to be looking somewhat grand. Uh, and you see him get up and walk over to that Parson woman. Mm. Can I have uh, Timothy follow them? This would be a stealth check. Okay, okay. He might die, be careful. Look to me. <laughs> man, I want to hear what they're saying, man. <laughs> I want to know what they're talking about over there. Seems like some important stuff. Um, okay. Which we've been ignoring successfully Ooh. so far. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. Ooh. Um, that nine. Well, that's a... <laughs> Your luck has to run out somewhere. Yeah, so at this... So Timothy... Um, this this big-ass moth <laughs> just flying through a whole bunch of people. Uh, it's not like he gets killed or anything, but, like, like enough people are, like, swatting at it <laughs> that he's, like, has to stay away and ends up, like, up in the rafters just to get away from, like, okay. being swatted. It's just so you, you're not um, to get close, enough, close right. enough to hear. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you as you, as you all step out of the longhouse, and I have a plate of bear meat. Mina, Mina. Yeah. Yes. What? Yes. Are you okay? Um, I was trying to hear what Timothy could hear. From Rhea what? leans towards you. Is that something else you can do? I, I can see or hear. Um, yes. Wow. My goodness, you're just full of surprises. That that would be a useful skill, eh? Yeah. I don't like to do it too much because I feel like it puts him in danger, but... Um, oh. And he was only just born like a few days ago, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, wait, Mina, wait. If, if ever Timothy dies, uh, I... Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> you know, if ever Timothy dies, I, I, I can make art of him. <laughs> Where's your mind going tonight, Korea? Jeez, first. Man, it's all over the place. Sorry. I don't know. It's not gonna die. I mean, how long do moths live? Like, I'm just saying, if ever he does, bring me his corpse. <laughs> Oh jeez! Oh, <laughs> but like I'm not rushing it or anything. That, that um, that green, um, that Abishai was—he sounds kind of scary. Yeah, he looks like too. Scary. <laughs> he looks scary. He was going over to talk to that um, the woman. That woman's even scarier than him. You wanna listen in? Yeah, I can't get close enough. I mean, we can. Are they? In the, wait, are they in another room? Where Matt? They're in the. They're in the middle of the longhouse. What's stopping us from having a discussion right next to their discussion? Nothing. Then let's go. And we'll casually stroll among the crowd to a position within earshot, hopefully, of this Abishai and that annoying woman. Sure, why don't you give me a stealth check? Not a super high DC, but just to get, like, to be inconspicuous. So we wanna, like, uh, sure, yeah, we can do a group check for everybody. A 15 right. to 12. And? Come on, Mina. Ugh, okay. Mina! <laughs> that's, that's, why do, that's why you do stealth checks. Uh, that's why you do group checks, everybody. No, okay. you do, uh, you end up close to these two individuals. It takes you a little while to get there. Um, and uh, again, it's the Abishai speaking and he has this this deep voice that kind of like cuts through you a little bit strange because um, even though it's very deep, you get that almost nails on a chalkboard feeling um, like it's just uncomfortable to listen to. Um, as he's saying, Rashanti, I very much appreciate them. 
Of course. If you could bring this to the attention of the Ma Natal, I think it would be beneficial to the city overall. It is getting rather crowded in your central city. Being south of it has been unpleasant. The waters wash through the streets. Um, and she replies, of course I can bring this to the attention, my mistress. I wouldn't dare fail to do that for you. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't dare do that, uh, fail to do that for you, Vis Vespasian. What do you think of this? Party. A little, um, a little bit unorthodox, even for all these people. She almost like whispers the word Eve's Law as she say it. says it. I am not here to judge the ways of the people. They have fed me, they have given me drink, and they will listen to the words I have to say. This is why I come. And then he kind of like, like turns like he's going to leave and then like turns back towards this woman and says, Although you are correct, much less formal than most of these goings on. Not sure how I feel about it. I don't dislike structure. I'll agree with you there. Well, perhaps I will revisit you in Cromptus sometime soon. You are, of course, always welcome, servant. Ah, uh, and he, they, they, they part ways. He called her at the end there, servant, or her he called, name? He called her servant. He called her uh, servant. With. I'm going to go with your really high roll about the Mahanatan earlier that you got. Um, and I think this indicates to you that she's a servant of the Mahanatan, which means she works for one of them. She's actually one of the ways that word gets out to the people. Like she has like a direct line to one of these rulers of the city. Um, and she is considered uh, a legal slave to that member of the Mahanatan. Well, that was uh, not as juicy as I thought a uh, demon guy's conversation would be. Yeah, there was nothing of note at all. Fuck, it's boring as hell. Let's go do something fun. Do you have something fun tonight? Well, for us later, yeah. Unless you want some now. You know, I don't take it often, but I think tonight's the night. Oh, well, here you go. And he'll, like, do a big handshake and pass a packet of spree to you. I'll find the... Can I can I exit and go outside to try to find, like, a dark corner or something? Well, I gotta find that kid and feed him bear, so I'm let's right behind head out you. and do that. Okay, you guys um, head out, meaning you're going as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you enter back out and Whatever political conversations, that sort of thing that's happening inside, uh, gives way uh, rather quickly to the sounds of people just um, enjoying themselves and um, kind of more of what you expect a party to be out here. Um, that's more like it. Let's see what they're drinking. I bet you it's a bit worse, but a bit easier to drink. Are you guys gonna get? Are you guys gonna be okay tonight? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I've seen that look in your eyes before. Well, good. I Hopefully, I'll look like this every day. I just want you both to be safe. Oh, Mina, I hate to break it to you, but safe is not a word I know. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know how 
everything's going to turn out tonight, and we don't really have any other way to get back home, and we don't really have anywhere to stay, so Mina, I'm just... Mina! Mina! This... This is a party. We are going to end up crashing on the floor, totally wasted, and tomorrow we'll wake up the, with the worst headache you could possibly imagine. And you know what? I'm not going to regret it. And I go I find the dark corner. <laughs> Come on, Mina. You gotta... Just don't worry about tomorrow. I right now is today. So who cares? You're a grown woman. I know. Alright, let's find that kid. And don't worry about it. Drink more. And stop worrying. <laughs> I love the uh, dynamic of this party guy. I love it. <laughs> uh, okay, so as um, Riawin goes behind one of these buildings to find her little dark corner, <laughs> uh, the other two of you, you're looking for... Young um, Farrell. I believe Farrell, yes, this young child. Uh, you find him pretty easily. As, it takes a couple minutes, but you kind of like walk around the fire and and you see him. And as you guys walk up, he's like, "Uh, oh, uh, hey." <laughs> My favorite NPC. <laughs> you're you're like the guys who, who kill. Need some. Come on, I got oh. something for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of like follows you over. Here, uh, I'll take a knee and um, present to him the platter of bear meat with some uh, whatever accoutrement was with it. Uh, this this whole thing, the whole thing is for me. What you think you can't eat this much? I can eat it. I can eat every, <laughs> every bite. Yes. It's yours. I I once ate an eating competition. You ate an and eating he, like, competition. Takes the plate. Yeah, I for won. You. I won the oh. whole thing. Uh, I ate 14 hares all on my own. You shouldn't eat hares. And I killed them all, too. Oh, okay. By myself. In one day, right? And then skinned them. I didn't cook them, though. <laughs> no, why not? You don't know my, how? My mother does it better. She is really no. good at cooking hares. And then I ate all of them myself. It's a lot of hares. I do that, you. like, all the time. I... Listen, if you can eat the, all this bear, then I believe you. This is, like, really good. Pretty good. This is, like... This is, like... it's. I've had it before, but this is really good, this one. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad you like this particular one, then. What does it taste like, that, actually? Does it give uh, it's very the... fatty. Yeah, it's, it's very fatty. Um, and most of it is done... Like, it's been... Uh, slow cooked for the entire day. Mm. Um, so some people have it with like like a lot of it's being served with like this uh, kind of spongy bread, and people are also like using the bread to like pick it up, like like grab it and do it All, almost like a sandwich, but like you know like rip, mm. rip, rip off a hunk of bed, grab that, dip it in the juices. Fucking like nasty ass meat. meat. This is a nasty meat. Dude, it's so good. <laughs> what, does the wateriness of the bear come through in any way? It's very moist and very fatty, so it's it has a lot of juice. And it has a lot of juice oh, to this it. Sounds awesome. Like I'm thinking of like a like a pulled pork almost, yeah. but the, the meat there doesn't hold together. It, it falls apart. It's like it's like considerably more tender. It's like human that. meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, my pork. experience to eating human meat was slightly different than <laughs> what I'm picturing water bear to be. But you know, we'll get into that another time. Yeah. Do you like to cook? Are you interested in? I do not cook. Oh. No, my mother is a very good cook. I do not need to because she's so good at it. I'm like the hunter, and uh, I do other manly things. <laughs> I carry water sometimes. I can carry a lot of water. I bet you can carry the most water out of all your friends. I can carry two buckets of water at one time, full all the way to the top. Pretty heavy. Not for me. He's <laughs> <laughs> so great. You see how confident this lad is, Mina. That's how we need to be, too. It's true. You're very confident. And you're yes. How? Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> no, I, I just wish... How do you deal with all of the fear and... Anxiety. I, I do not get afraid. 
when when my father died, I promised my mother I would not be afraid anymore, and I would be the man that takes care of our family. I'm sorry about your father. It's okay. He he was like a great warrior, and he died in a war. Hmm. He's very brave. What war might he be talking about? If he's like seven, eight years old or however old? There has definitely not been a war. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that he'd be very proud of you. I'm, I'm going to go eat the bear now. Enjoy, Feral. We'll see you around. Little feral kids. You. <laughs> um... And Rhea, when you go back behind um, the, the in this little like alley and the music kind of gets a little quieter. And as you look around looking for um, a quiet spot, uh, you do see down at the end this like big like water basin, almost like it'd be there to, like as a, as a water catch kind of thing. But it's not under any gutters it's under. It's not under anything where it would catch water. It's off to the side. Uh, and you think that, like, in this little alley between uh, these couple, like, warehouse-type buildings, you might have found uh, where people are drinking. There's actually someone sitting on the ground uh, next to where this bucket is. The head kind of slumped. Um, you're not sure if they're, like, asleep or just hanging, but you're you're not the only one in this alley. There's that one other person. I don't, I don't think Rhea is particularly, like, self-aware about using drugs in front of people especially sure. if like he's half passed out so i think as she like she doesn't even wait to be set in the alley as she walks in the alley she just slips it under her bun yeah you, you kind of get this um little pixie stick like capsule uh and put it under and like uh your mind feels your your vision almost goes foggy but your mind feels alert uh, almost instantly uh, and you see someone kind of moving very quickly, kind of dash out from the other end, the other part of the alley, uh, and with their back to you, they kind of like run over and start, and they dip their hand uh, into this bucket and bring it to their mouth, and then you see them kind of like, like, like going like this to like get it off their hand. Are you okay? You can make a perception check to try and see how well you can see this individual because they're a little farther away. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, you, you're you're too far away. You just can't make it out. I go up to them. Yeah, uh, you start walking up to kind of where this bucket is. Is they're like uh, wiping their hand on the side of their pants, and you can kind of hear like uh, almost like they're spitting out whatever they were um, they were just drinking. Did you just uh, drink from the latrine? And as you're asking that and you get closer, you realize that they're not wiping their hand uh, on pants. As a matter of fact, they don't seem to be wearing any pants. Uh, <laughs> they seem to be entirely nude uh, and pale. Uh, like, like extremely white, pale skin. Um, and their head seems kind of like larger as they're like hunched over this bucket. And as you get closer, uh, this thing hears you and it turns around quickly and its eyes are like half of this oversized head. These two huge oh, big no. eyes no, 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 and no. these sickly kind of like yellowed teeth as it looks towards you. And we're going to pick it up right there after we take a break. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so creepy. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching. We will be back in five-ish minutes um, with uh, with some stuff in a, a game of Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> Hell yeah. See you right. soon. See you in five. Hey, we're back. Famous last words, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Uh... As we just left off, Rhea went, uh, went behind a building to take drugs by herself. 
Uh, and she found something scary. <laughs> and um, now I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> you are uh, right in front of this creature, kind of with a little bit of spittle coming down its mouth. Uh, this, this this kind of squat, uh, you would call it medium-sized, but on the shorter end of, like, maybe dwarf-sized, but but skinny, like, almost emaciated. This, like, naked, uh, shrunken-in body that's, like, impossibly thin. Uh, with these him. long arms, but big hands that come out of it, and these eyes that take up half of its face. Um, you notice it's it's very twitchy. Like, it, its body never, no part of it ever seems to really be able to stay still. As it says, If if this is if this is uh, Infernal, by the way, I, I made a mistake. Uh, I actually know Infernal. It is not a language that you recognize. Okay. That's broke this. That's why I don't fucking take spree, man. And I go <laughs> running. Uh, uh, as you try to leave, roll. You can instead roll for initiative. No. Just twenty-one, baby. It. Hit me. Oh, nice. Hit me, That's bitch. Pretty, pretty good. Let me pull up a stat block. Uh, let me see. Whoa! Oh, your 21 close. beats his 20. <laughs> Holy shit. Gonna love that. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, what do you do? Uh, let me just read something real quick. Uh, you do notice, by the way, as you're reading that, as you go to turn, you notice this individual that's on the ground seems to be, uh, a farmer or some sort of laborer or workman from the area, and you realize his head is slumped to the side, uh, and around him is a pool of blood. Oh, oh, that's why, that's why he was okay. <laughs> uh, okay. First of all, I run thirty feet away. Uh, as you try to run, he's going to take an attack of opportunity. I didn't know I was that close. Okay. You were that close. My bad. Knowing that you're that close, would you have? Oh. Hey, whoa, 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 you need to chill right now. <laughs> does a 225 hit? <laughs> uh, does a 21 hit? Yeah. Oh, uh, wait! Let's okay. hear it, people. Shield, fuckers! Shield, yes. <laughs> What's your AC? 16. Plus 5. 21. So he oh, still hits it's it. Still, okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Save, save, save the shield. He would, he would still just hit. Yeah. Um, Fuck, I, I'm not. I'm bad at math, guys. <laughs> uh, as you turn to run, you take just five points of slashing damage as his claw like catches you across the back, ripping your outfit uh, and sending searing spain, uh, pain kind of up your spine as you make your way like down this alley. And I think I think okay, so I think I start to run and I kind of like turn around and. You know, put my hand there as protection. Magic missile. Ooh. Okay, roll for. Uh, so that magic missile damage. auto hits, and then it's damage, right? Yep. Yep. You're just you're just rolling for damage for three bolts. Nine. All right. Sweet. Yeah, these three bolts. Boom! 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 Um, bit hit into this thing, kind of lighting up this area like a these like um slight sparks. Uh. Vogue and Mina can roll a perception check, but it's going to be an 18 AC. All right, babies, you got it. That's going to be DC, tough. Sorry, 18 DC. Uh, it it no, is going to be man. definitely tough to notice this, but I, I'll leave the possibility there. Um, Can I get advantage from um, Timothy? Can he, can he use his help action to help? You know, him? I was I was thinking of doing that anyway, saying Timothy is probably flying higher to stay away from the flame where you are outside. So, yeah, yeah I, I was already kind of thinking of doing that. Wait a minute. Timothy uh, stays away from the flame? What kind of fucking moth is that? The one who doesn't want to die. He's <laughs> um, yeah, he's not really just like a regular ass moth, guys. Uh, <laughs> <I'd really laughs> uh, with a 16, unfortunately, no. Even Fuck. <laughs> Neither of you do notice. Uh, but that is your movement and your action. Uh, what else do you do? Um, that's 
soon. Uh, okay. Oh, no, that's wait. No, that's not it. That's not it. I think you're back, wait. Mom! As I yell. Oh, you scream. Yeah. All right. Uh, unfortunately, they don't. Nobody seems to hear you uh, in, yeah. in the din of this uh, party. This thing kind of out of seemingly nowhere. And again, you're kind of like looking back where you just shot like this shaking motion. It brings something up to its mouth and then it goes and fucking like runs straight towards you. Oh God. So uh, uh, and not the most exciting way you've ever seen. Uh, he's going to take... It also uh, just took a hit of spree. It's going to take its attacks yeah. at you. Yeah. Plural. That was a misspeak, right? I don't think it was for some uh, reason. The first one is a 16 to hit. Yeah, I'll take it. Do it. Oh. Okay. Last the whole round, don't forget. That is six points of damage. Ooh. Maybe I should have shielded that. Uh, yep. Do you... Well... It's too late? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the second one is a 22 to hit. Yeah. All right. Uh, and that's going to be nine more points of damage. So here's the thing, guys. I just I just fall to the ground. <laughs> Okay, so as he, he does, he, he runs up towards you um, and actually at the last minute, like, jumps off the wall and comes down at you with these claws and, like, smacks you against the other building that you're between. Uh, and, that, and then it kind of stalks over to you with these jittery motions and just... <laughs> these, like, three pitches simultaneously come out of its mouth as its hand just comes down and then everything goes black for you. Well, it was great while it lasted, guys. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? The last right I said to you was be safe. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> um, what are Vogue and Mina doing? So that was nice. That was nice. What you did for the kid back there. Oh, you're sharing nice. food. That's like yeah, no you're nice. Thing. Thanks, Mina. You you are too. I think I'm. I think this honey juice is is starting to have an effect on me. Oh, just now. Yes, I've had. You gotta start catching up then. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What was Rhea going to do? <laughs> I'm just uh, dying. Just had to powder her lips a bit, you know. Okay. She'll be back in a minute. Okay. Yeah. What do you want to? What do you? What do you want to do now? Well, uh, I don't know. We could go eat more. Did you even eat yet? No. I have to tell you that I don't think I can eat the water bear. What? Why? I'm vegan. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just. I just was gonna kill me, I think, and I just. Yeah, it was gonna kill me too. That's why we gotta eat it now. Show it who's boss. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that's how sense. we conquer it, right? Conquer it. I don't want any more of those nightmares <laughs> of getting mauled. Now that I've eaten of its flesh, that's it. Can't can't hurt me anymore. Um, do you? Do you know what happened that night? Which day? The bear night? No. The before that. Oh, With... that night. Did you know that guy? Uh, in passing. And what he did to... to Tracy? Yeah, listen, let's, um... You know, dreams not something we mess around with lately. And, uh, that's why. You just got your first-hand look at it. Because you, you can wake up? Yeah, like that. That's scary. 
Well, that's the one we don't touch. Anyway, come on, we're at a party. Why are you uh, thinking on such a dark thoughts? You're right. Let's go back to the party. Yep, you guys See have what that with us, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Drunk and high and you fucked off somewhere. No, that's fine. I get it. It's okay. You're looking like kind of for Arledge. Yeah, see what Arledge is doing. Get some some bear into Mina so that she can stop tripping out. Yeah. So, um, as you turn and start walking in that direction, uh, you notice coming from behind the alley where um, Maria would had gone. You notice obsession walking to her tent with Rhea Wynn slung over her shoulder. Oh my savior! Oh my god, she's what so the hot! Hell? <laughs> Mina, look, and Vogel just dash over. Oh, okay. And I'll follow. This what? big ox woman walking... What happened? Her. Obsession, what, what's wrong with her? Get love now. Can I just say one thing also? As Rhea is slung over that shoulder, the gash that the creature ripped along her back reveals her back and there's this huge gash on it. But you also notice a dozen of long, gnarly scars just covering her back. Fuck. I'll get love. I'll get love. And I Thanks. Run. Like, I just do a full sprint uh, up there. Vogue's, like, dancing around Obsession, getting in the way, like, trying not to get in the way. What? What? Where did you find her? What? Why is she caught? Go get love. What are he, you still doing here? Mina's getting love. I'm staying here. This is not good. No. Who, did someone stab her? Um... Obsession does not answer any of your questions. Well, we'll, we'll keep trying. <laughs> yeah. As a um, follower to your tent. Mina, you, you enter into the longhouse. Is love still in the middle there or by uh, the, the throne with, uh, with the Vicontess? Uh, she's not. No, she seems to be making the rounds kind of diplomatically chatting with people. I will try to get like weave through the crowd as quickly as I can to get to to get to love. Uh, yeah, you're able to. You, you know, you kind of um, are just like ducking in and out of people, um, and you manage to get to her. I think I just grab uh, her like uh, arm, and I'm just like love. There's uh, a, Rhea. Yes. Rhea's. It's at love's. She's at love's hut, and I don't know if she's going to be okay. I don't have a hut. What do you mean, dear? Obsession. What? You said love instead of uh, obsession. I, their names are unfamiliar to me. <laughs> I, 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 what? Uh, it, obsession's hot. Uh, oh, I'm sure Obsession can take care of her. If she has had. She told me to get you. Her. She yelled at us to get you. Obsession did. Yes. Uh, she leaves the longhouse, not from the entrance you came in, but from the one on like the far left side that leads almost directly to Obsession's hut. Um, uh, and as they you get to this hut, Vogue-Y, um Obsession just kind of like drops um, drops Riawin kind of onto her back. And like Probably painfully with this big gash that's there. Uh, but when she drops her onto her back, you notice that that's not the biggest concern because Riowin's throat has been slit open. And there is a lot of blood coming out of it and a lot of it on like obsession kind of that has been dropping down her. Riowin, I need you to make a death saving throw. Okay. Yeah, one failure. Uh, as love drops her to the ground and then just turns her back and starts working with things on 
uh, this table, getting things together. Vogue is now petrified. Just all of that frantic motion, clomping around, obsession, and asking a million questions. She's just like standing there. Can you asked. help? Can you help her, boy? With what? With that. What? What do you need? I'm. I'm not a healer. Boy. Go get the healer, boy. You are the healer. <laughs> um. I'm so she's bad. gonna. She she swipes right at your head. There's that backhand we were talking about. Yeah, she. About. You you're able to duck out of it, but she just like turns and just sweat and you sweat and she <laughs> smacks into the side of the tent and the whole thing kind of shakes and she says, "Go get the boy healer, Arledge." Oh, uh, yes, and I will dash off. Uh, you as you dash off, you run by Love, who's coming into the hut. And love, uh, and I don't think you hear because you continue on to go find Arledge. Uh, and Mina, you do hear love yell into the hut. Uh, Obsession, what is it? Um, and Obsession just says, visitors from elsewhere in the, in the struggles. And love curses under her breath and runs off. What are they talking about? Arledge! <laughs> I'd like to get close to Rhea if I could, if I could just sprint in there to get yes. to close to her. You you run in uh, and get close to her as again uh, obsession turns her back towards you and is starting to like mix things together in this big mortar uh, she has on this table with all these different ingredients. I think I just um, I just hold her hand um, and just start crying. Okay. Um. I want two rolls. I would like Vogue Y to roll an investigation check to find Arledge. And I would like Rhea Wynn to roll a death saving throw. That is two failures. Now, you do have advantage on the death saving throw because I'm um, I'm next to you. <laughs> Ooh. <Okay. laughs> hey! <laughs> Oh, I'm going to kiss that, Mina so hard. That five turns to a gnat. Oh, my God. My heart my heart's beating so fast <laughs> right now. Mina, explain, explain what this looks like. Um, I think in that moment, I call on uh, all the names of the gods I know, all of the names of the spirits I know, um, and will them into her, um, even if they have to kill themselves to do it, to give her life. Is there anything physically happening? Is there anything visual, like in uh, happening on the visual plane as you're doing this? I think um, it's like this. Uh, these, like, there are pieces of where her uh, flesh has been torn open. Um, I think you just start to see the the um, blood that's that's come out of her um begin to uh convulse and then coagulate like slowly back into her body as if like the um time itself is like kind of just like shifting um in that moment to to seek some other outcome um and as you're doing this uh i don't actually know that anyone here notices um obsession's reaction to this uh, and Rio, when your eyes blink open with Mina above you, and again with a six, uh, see, uh, obsession's rolling very poorly. Uh, her foot comes down to kick it where Mina is, and like misses her, and like hits the side of the tent, and like breaks one of the beams holding the tent up, and it still stands, but like she kicked out at you. Yeah, can you hear me? Get out! I I think Rhea stumbles like very erratically, and she kind of leans on Samina, and without a word, they just they try to leave. Yeah, and as you get Mina out, uh, Obsession is at the door, her, her face looking a little bit wild as she looks down at Mina and says, 
I do not have time for your unholiness. And then turns back around to continue whatever it is she was doing inside the tent. What happened? What happened, Rhea? They slowly turn to you, and they look you dead in the eyes. You can see they're shaking, and they whisper. I died. Second and Oh gods. Do I see the alley? Um, I'm gonna stop you there actually and go over to Vogue who does find Arledge. While this is going Ar on. Arledge, you uh. need to come with me now. The R Rhea's been hurt badly. There's some attacker oh. in here. I I will I'd be happy to help. And and as you're as he's like getting up and like like turning and getting uh turning in the direction that you're trying to face him, you notice that love has run in and very quickly gotten people together. Uh and she and a few other warriors that were in here um and the duke and the abishai get up and start walking together towards the, the entrance of the longhouse. And as other warriors step forward to try and join them, uh, she yells at them, protect the servant. Um, and they, and they exit through a different exit that you're going to. They exit through the main, the main entryway of the longhouse. Uh, as you all make your way back out towards uh, Obsession's tent, uh, as Mina and Riawin are now standing there, and Riawin appears to be okay. I'm at one HP, right? You are at one eight, one hit point. Yes, with that natural twenty. You're up. What? Did oh, Obsession must have done it already? But Arledge, look, she's bleeding oh. still. I I think uh, you, you I. Look I as as Arledge approaches me, I um, I kind of stumble to Vogue and I put my two hands on his shoulder, more so leaning than grabbing, like looking for support. And um, yeah, second wind, baby. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Uh, while you roll for second wind, you all miss this green Abishai unfurl its wings with people screaming and take flight into the air. Yeah. So you see Rhea just. They are supporting herself on you, and they inhale this huge breath of air. And then they look up at you. We have to get the fuck out, Vogue, right now. What did we what leave? We what fucking leave, Vogue. Okay. And I uh, grab and as, Mina by the hand. Yeah, as as you're doing this, um, obsession steps out of the hut. And she, whatever concoction she was making in this mortar and pestle, she now has covering her hands and is just smearing it over herself. Um, as she walks up and starts chanting, again in a language that you don't uh, know, I don't think any of you, um, but it's, it's actually the language of the the Evesmen. It's actually the language of the people of this place. Hmm. Um, as she's just chanting, stepping out with her arms out to the side. Smear, like, like, like smearing this and then walking out with arms open. What the fuck is going on? We gotta get moving then. Vogel get his short bow ready to use just in case. Arledge says, what is happening? Something attacked. Something attacked Rhea. Who, who would do that here? Um. They said visitors from elsewhere, Arlish. Does that mean anything to you? That's. I don't know what that means. Uh. And. Um. Other people are. Some people are running. Like running out of the stronghold and back towards the town. Um as this Abishai continues to 
to like circle in the sky above. Um, and you notice other people as people are trying to run out of the stronghold actually start closing the door on them. And the people that were panicking aren't really sure what to do, but they decide to kind of like stay in. And other people kind of like turn back like they want to run back inside because they need the security of the hold and the doors are closed on them. And we're still in within the doors that are being closed, yeah? You are, yeah. Well, no, there's no, ours. No. Bro. no, 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 no. We can't fucking stay here. We, we gotta find a safe place. Backs to the wall. Vogue, there's something else in here with us. Look at all these soldiers. That Abishai's flying around, too. We're gonna be fine. Just don't. We can't panic. What do you do? Let's, um, let's go find Love and her war party. See if we can help. Yeah, I'm good. I don't want to stay in. I don't want to need to stay in there either. All right, Lidge, you with us? <coughs> oh, sorry, you're with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm so with you. <laughs> I, I see that. Let's go. But Rhea, are you okay to, to, to move? You're okay. Arledge. Where, where are we going? Arledge, do your magic, the one you did on Mina. I. It takes a while to concentrate. Do we want to stop here? How long? I don't know. You're fucking useless. All right, let's go find love. Let's stay calm. He's not useless. Let's. Yeah, as you said, his face, his face definitely does a thing as you say he's useless. Suck it, losers. She's <laughs> not in her right mind. Let's duck into the longhouse and we'll be safe in there for a minute. We'll guard the door and you can take your time. Uh, you step into the longhouse uh, and the, the front doors are closed. And as uh, Arledge noticed people are closing the doors, he actually like, he seems like affected by what Riawin just said to him. Uh, and, and like, stops talking, but also, like, sobers up a bit, and he, he closes this door on this side as you enter. And you notice warriors have made a circle around that woman, the, uh, the servant of the Mahanatam. Uh, and, like, like, weapons drawn a circle around them, and a lot of people in here have weapons out, but all the doors are closed. As I'm walking in, can I have just Timothy just flutter off and stay outside? To yeah. Take the air. Yeah, absolutely. See, uh, nothing's getting in here. You didn't gonna be see fine. it, Bog. You didn't see it. Uh, what was what it? Was it? I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. A fucking monster is what. It. It was. And you see them just getting lost in their own mind and fear. You're fine. Come on, keep it together. And he'll put his big, meaty, fat hands on both your shoulders and kind of squeeze you a little. They meet eyes with you, and it was, it was tall and and <coughs> crawny and so pale, like 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 a, like a corpse. And its eyes, God, its eyes. They took half his face, and it just looked at me with this... I tried to run, but... It, it caught up in, in, in a second, a flash, and... That's all you get. Um, are you seeing and or hearing through your familiar's eyes? Yeah, once I get inside and, and take home, and I, I think... I think, uh, Rhea says that, I... I'll flip over to outside to see if I can see what's happening out there. Uh, you see as this Abishai is flying, kind of doing circles, and it keeps looking at the ground and just... Uh, roll an Arcana check for me to see if you know what's happening. As it just... Like, roars out in succession. Like, one, two, 
three times in different areas as it's happening. And as he does it, the people that are below him panic and are running. And some are, like, beating at the door. Some are trying to get into these storehouses. Uh, some are trying to get into the longhouse. But he is, uh, people are, like, panicking and scared. The, uh, make a perception check um, to see what you can see outside. Is it, is it, so it's just like torching is it like going after people on purpose or is it just having to hit people it is not hitting people it is just roaring from the sky oh it's not okay gotcha yeah there does seem to be some magical effect with this oh okay um but you're but you can't really make heads or tails on it (laughs) not great yeah and with a 10 percent, you just see the the other warriors that are here are like mill like running around too almost like they're trying to find something but you're not sure if they're being if they're successful or if they're panicking too. It's hard to see. But it's literally just—it's just the ouch. I never the people, so it's, or they were the humans. So it's like I don't see any any of these any creatures or anything like that roaming no, about. No, nothing that. Um, oh wow. That real wind just. Gotcha. Um, just I yeah. Um, and after a while of sitting there, did Ria's description of the monster ring any bells? Uh, and as things kind of um, get a little quieter, eventually the door of the longhouse as love walks in. (laughs) Um, My Vicantes. The keep is secured. We are safe. Both. Both. uh, Obsession and Vespasian have confirmed this. Uh, And finally, the warriors around the servant uh, kind of like, like drop their swords from their, like, readied position. Does Rodala respond? Um, she kind of, like, nods to people who, who start who, like, open the doors up more freely uh, as the Duke walks in to the longhouse. He kind of just nods at Rodala and she Friends, please, let us not let this food go to waste this evening. We thank you for your quick response. Uh, And she walks out of the longhouse with the duke. Can we leave now? I I mean, we could, but it's a four-hour walk. You sure you don't want to rest here? Are you all okay? I'm, I'm. I'm going to go see if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, Arlich. What just happened? What was that? Uh, and he he looks to you, Mina, as you say that, uh, but without an answer, he he walks away towards his mother to maybe try and find some answers. You want another drink, Mina or Rhea? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go fill my horn and hers and bring it back. I just think it's better for us to say put. Look at all these soldiers. I don't think it's going to be safer to leave. She looks up at you pleading. But what if what if it comes back? I'm just going to get in here. Just we'll have 20 arrows in it before it makes a step. Mina, give me another perception check. <laughs> Mina. Sorry, guys. I, not, I think she's just shook right now. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't notice much of anything. I think you're you're still worried and looking out for monsters. 
where there don't seem to be any to find. Did Love leave, or what, where did she go? Yes. Uh, make a perception check, Vogue. What you can see Wanted inside. To catch the... her and ask her. Thirteen. Uh, Love leaves with the Vicountess and the Duke. Okay. Yeah, they, they step out of the um, together. They step out of the longhouse as the doors Arr! and like someone steps around and opens the door by you as well. Uh, the doors to the longhouse are opened back up. Oh fuck! Hell of a feast. Rhea kind of grasps at her clothes and like she tries to close the gap there is at her back and they go is there any like a I don't know, fur or something? A blanket? You said there were like fur decorations on the walls, right? Uh, yeah, there's some up. Yeah, Vogel glomp over and just tear one down. Yeah. That's my ride or die right there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You'll choose like an uglyish one that's not very <laughs> important looking. Sure. Sure, this kind of like imperfect wolf pelt. There we go. That kind of is like the black and gray, but has some brown in it too, and doesn't look quite as immaculate as the others. Mina, I have a question. I oh no, sorry, Mike. I have a question as Eve, <laughs> but Mina can answer. <laughs> uh, you said that like. It's, it's as if time wrapped itself to prevent the wounds and, from happening and all. Did it leave a uh, scar? Oh, I, like, didn't... I was thinking more like... It, it, like I think there should be a wound there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a scar there, but... Yeah, I just, like, I like the blood like that was leaking. That was, like, your lifeblood. I just, like, tried to reverse its course back into your... Okay, okay. So it, it probably left a scar then. All oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. I didn't, like, undo, <coughs> I didn't, like, undo the, the yeah. wound or anything. Perfect. Yeah. Did, I forget, did Vogue know about the scars? Uh, on her back? Yeah. Yeah. You okay. saw them, you don't know about them. Though. No, but that was like my first time seeing them. You you cleaned her up when it happened. Oh, she she crawled home yep. and you cleaned her up. Okay, thanks. Uh, Arledge re-enters the um, longhouse and comes over to where all of you are. Well, everything seems to, to be safe now. Did you find anything out? My mother is, is speaking with the Duke and some other emissaries. It seems to be a private matter. Did the description Rhea shared mean anything to you? I don't know what that could be. I would have, I would, after hearing that, I would see if I could listen into that conversation if it was happening outside. Yeah. Uh, what kind of check do you want to make? Oh, uh, I don't know. Is it like a stealth to get close? Is it a perception <sighs> to hear? Is it? Yeah, I'll do like a stealth to see if I can get up in there. Yeah. But I don't think it really matters. I don't think the, <laughs> there's any difference. <laughs> hey, it's one. Yeah. 14. The Vicountess, the Duke, the Abishai, and the Servant are standing together. Uh, and, and your moth kind of like comes and flutters and like goes in and out and you hear some things better than others. But you actually hear the Servant speaking. She's saying, We are very worried that these visitors have been coming to us. So, watch recently. I'm glad your medicine woman was here to help the pellet, but... Is pellet okay? We cannot keep going like this. Uh, and the Abishai responds and says, If the Mahanatan are willing <laughs> to give us rain over the city. I believe that we could keep things more at bay. Ah. Uh, and uh, 
I I hear your concerns, this patient. I will of course bring to my master everything that happened here this evening. I believe I will need an escort to bring me back to the central city. Uh, and before, like, Radella goes to say something, but the Duke speaks up for us and says, of course, of course we will provide escorts for you. See you safely. Um, Radella, you can get the carriage ready. Uh, of, of course. I will see the done. I thank you so much, Vespasian, for your assistance in making sure that this incursion was not more damaging than it was. I I am so and in the as she's like a bit dejected, uh the servant says to her, please. This is something that has been happening much lately. I do not know that my presence here has had anything to do with this visit. Very well, maybe just a coincidence. You will, of course, search the grounds. Yes, uh, servant, we will scour every blade of grass. Jeez. If anything was left, we will find it before anyone else does. Um, at that point, I like come back to the two of them, and I'm just like shaking my head. I don't understand. What is it? They were talking, and they said something about. Like keeping my voice down so just the two of them can hear me. They said something about And Arledge who's with you? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, Arledge. I think I trust I think I mean to trust Arledge. Um enough. They said something about rain being needed to drive these things, whatever it is, away. To prevent another incursion. I don't understand any of this. What rain like from Water from the sky? Matt, from what I remember of seeing the creature, like, in the basin, could I link the fact that, like, it was repulsed by the touch of water? Oh, it wasn't water in that basin. It was some It was some booze. Oh. Was some, yeah, it was definitely... Uh, it was definitely whatever people had been drinking. Okay. Like, that's where they were going to fill it up. But what, what, what was it doing again? Like, did it touch it and go like, ah, and then... Yeah, like... Trying to drink, they, right? They, to drink. they scooped it up and drank some and then was spitting it out and, like, getting it off their okay. hands and, like, wiping it on themselves. Okay. Alright, next time we see one, we gotta challenge it to a drinking cup. <laughs> we win that shit. <laughs> also, t yeah. sorry, th did they actually say rain, like, precipitation? Or was the Abishai saying the Abishai need more rain over the city to control it? Yeah, that that okay. that's the context you were thinking. They wanna they want free rain to do whatever okay. they want to do in the city. So it oh, sounds rain. like they have some restrictions. Like uh, I was like rain, I, water. <laughs> I didn't real I don't know if that was that a Mina misinterpretation, Mike, or was that a Mike misinterpretation? No, that was I think I think Mina thought they said just because like like oh, if they, because it doesn't rain here, yeah, yeah. At all. I thought they said if they allowed, okay, like it awesome. took, like basically allowed allowed rain allowed rain within the city. That's what I thought they. Uh, that's what um, I think Mina th interpreted that as. Gotcha. Well, if we need rain, then that's going to be a problem in it. But they, what did they say anything about what it was? What did they call it? Was it an incursion from, from somewhere else? I don't know. <sighs> is this how every feast is, Arledge? Arledge, 
Village is not here with us tonight. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, no, he pauses for a second. He, he's like shaking his head and he says, "We don't often have feasts. Any visitors? And... No, usually it's pretty simple." I'm so sorry that your first your first feast here has ended so terribly. I can't wait to be home. We'll go first light. Or whenever we manage to wake up, that is. There is there's no rush, of course, but I understand. I'm so very sorry. And he actually looks like he's like in tears. I'm sorry, I couldn't help him. Hey, Arledge. Yes. About well, earlier, I um, I didn't mean it, and they looked down at the ground. It, it was a stressful evening. You were attacked in my home. I will always... be so ashamed that I allowed that to happen. Yeah. I, uh, I will become a better watcher on the wall. Uh, excuse me, I must make sure my people are safe. Uh, and he, like, turns, almost like before he starts crying in front of a lot of you. Oh. Eric turns to go and make himself useful. Arledge will remember that. <laughs> wow, who knew a little insult goes such a long way? <laughs> so, they seem to think, or... The Apishai seemed to think that they wanted or were attracted here because the servant was here? Why would they want to kill the servant? I don't know. What? I don't this understand. servant? Is that that parcel lady? Yes, I believe she's a servant of the Mahanad. Oh, well, doesn't that make her like a bigwig? Surely. All assassins and things, no? I don't know. I don't know why you were saying this feast was wilder than, or it was less formal. I'm con I, I don't know any of it. It's well, I mean, they, as far as formal political feasts go, this was pretty rowdy. So I'm told. So we're taught. Are you okay? Are you okay? They look they look out. They don't make eye contact with anyone. No. No, because I can't seem to catch a fucking break. But it's not my boss running down on me because I owe him stupid gold. It's this fucking monster ripping at, at me. Killing me. And I'm just trying to have one night. And I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's okay to not be fine. I'm afraid it's not, Mina. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can go to your parents' house no. and stay there for no. a while. No, no. Mm -mm. There. I'm sure your mom would want. She would, she would, and I, that's... My parents, I'm not willing to risk. They shouldn't know about this, Mina. Should we should, who can we... Who can help? Good night's rest and seeing the sunshine in the morning will help. I thought we lost you. You know, I thought I thought dying would be 
more spiritual. I thought some big winged guy with rippling abs would welcome me with open arms and actually you know and no, I, I I belong in the hells. So probably probably someone really scary look I I thought someone would be there just waiting for me and, and there wasn't. <laughs> there there wasn't. It's just black. And nothing. I don't think so. I think there's more. Maybe Hope for you're the right. deserving. I am gonna chug this and try to sleep. some water nope the ripping headache I'll have tomorrow will remind me of how alive I am it's fine let's see if they'll put us in a loft or something I'll um see if I can find someone who looks like they work there and figure out if there's a sleeping area <laughs> <or anything. laughs> need like a name tag <laughs> yeah it's like, um, a Viking, it's like a novelty Viking helmet <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone with a name tag that says, uh, "My my name is Victor, and I'm here to help." Mm -hmm. Um, uh no, but you you are uh given places you stay in the rafters. That is indeed where you stay. It actually seems to be where Arledge just sleeps. Like there seems to be actually only one room. That one room kind of like set off like behind throne room, uh, and that is where the Vicountess herself sleeps. Hmm. Um, and you're placed. Kind of neat in Arledge's like <laughs> sections of the above rafters, um, where he sleeps, where some, uh, you know, not terribly comfortable, but not the worst guest bed, like little uh, sleeping cots are set up Bef for you. Before we go to the rafters, as Vogue gets up to go ask as to where the sleeping ar arrangements are, I, I turn to Mina. Mina, can I... Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you, um... Did you ever found yourself being inexplicably drawn to mischief? Trouble? Mischief? No, I've tried to avoid that mostly. Not lately, I guess. I think I'm seeking it out more. They um they trace their long fingernail on your cheek. There you are, uh this perfect example of goodness trying to be this pristine achievement. Yet you stick to Vogue and I like glue. And don't get me wrong, I. It's a breath of fresh air, but I just can't help but wonder why. We're not your crowd, are we? No. Not really. Yes. Are you saying you don't want to be friends anymore? No. That's not what I'm saying. That's nowhere near what I want. Then you have to let me help you. I don't want to lose you. You have... This worry you feel about liking someone so much that you just want to do whatever it takes to help them you know it's a privilege right my whole life the only person i could afford to give my love to was vogue because i've known him for well, forever really and because just like you he stuck to me like glue and i just couldn't get rid of him even though i didn't want him anywhere near 
who I was or what I did. The others, don't... the others could go to hell. For all I cared, they could die, miserable, painful death. I didn't have the luxury to get attached. I never did. Why? Why that? Why is that what you seek? I mean, I know you've. You seem sheltered. A bit unaware at times, but you're not blind and you're not stupid. You know that Vogue and I. We seek danger. It's it's drawn to us, really. When we're by ourselves, we're not as strong as we are together. We're less helpless. And we can do things that, if we were by ourselves, that we couldn't do. And I believe in that. I believe that connection between people and things is... The most important thing. They give you a, um, a faint smile. Well, Mina, you've done it. You've, you've dug your grave, and now you must lie in it, and you're stuck with me. I'm with you, but we're not stuck. That won't let us be. She cups, cups your cheek and gives you a kiss on the forehead. Let us go to sleep. I am drugged out of my mind, uh, drunk, and uh, I think I revealed a bit too much anyway. So I think we're gonna, I we're gonna we're gonna talk about the drugs. Um, oh. morning. <laughs> She laughs. She finds that very funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, if ever you want to try it, you know, uh, Vogue and I are willing to chaperone you. It's okay. It doesn't kill when there's not a monster uh, clawing at you. No, you don't understand. Yeah, I'm going to be chaperoning you from now on. They, they, they lean towards you and suddenly Rhea's back. I can't wait to see you try. I'm a pretty fast runner. <laughs> she starts walking. <laughs> the next morning. Constitution check, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> would, would Rhea have wanted a hit of Ope on the evening before? Uh, she crumbled on the bed and oh. gone her. <laughs> The thing with opium, opium is a little. It's a, it's a big to do. It's you can't like. You can't secretly take opium in the middle of a party. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, like you gotta get the whole setup going. Is it only smokable, really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could try to just eat it. Does oh, it does it just just re? I just had to vote to like rip yeah, out like a huge it's bong, like a giant so. bong, <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> We're always prepared. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you wake up uh, later in the day up in the rafters uh, with, you know, full rest, all of your stuff back. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, Arledge is already gone by the time any of you, like, up and on and doing stuff before any of you wake up. What does pajamas look like? <laughs> uh, whatever he was wearing the night before. Ah, uh, boring. <laughs> Maybe minus a shirt. Uh, Mean it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you all wake up in the morning um, fully rested. Days Con work. saves all around or? Nope, you're all got a hangover. <laughs> sure. We're all headachy and not feeling great. But but long rested, right? Long rested. 
and hangovery. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, damn right it is. Who's hungry? Me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Is there any food left over? It's not... There must be. I mean... Oh, looking down from the rafters, like, there's still food on the table from last night. Oh, yeah. Time to get stuffed, babies! Round two. Yeah, you go down and have some greasy ass water bear meat. Gotta soak up that... Gotta soak up the alcohol, man, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's good for the bread is not quite as spongy as it was the night before, but it's still there and it um, does the it does the job. How's the ale vat looking? Uh, it's not there. It's actually, it must have been Fuck. brought. Put That's away how you keep it over your thing. <laughs> somewhere. Um, but as you're kind of like sitting down at this long table to eat some breakfast, uh, Arledge does come in uh, with a much simpler shirt on. It's kind of like sweaty, like he's already been working or maybe, you know, sweating off whatever he drank the night before, too. Uh, he comes and he says, ah, uh, good, you're up. Um, I I know you were eager to get home uh, last night. I, I wouldn't want to hold you up. Um, I, I just wanted to see if there's anything you needed. I don't think you are in the trip. Actually... Did you say some greasy left of... Oh. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to have, like, 19 gold pieces laying around, would you? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no? Uh, okay. Good one. Yeah. Perhaps Good one we'll have to go hunting another time. Oh. Right, because that was that, very lucrative. <laughs> that may need to uh, oh, wait a little bit. You're up early. I have a lot to get ready to do. Uh, it seems that I will be going and staying with the Duke for some time. Oh, so it's decided. It's decided, yes. Uh, I will be going and studying uh, with the Duke's holy man. Trying to learn a bit of his ways myself. Strengthen the little bit of knowledge I already have so I can be of use. Actually, what well, happened last night, it's it is our job as a people to protect the city. Did you find anything else out? No, I can't say I did. Is he um, telling the truth? I'm making this a check. Eleven. Um. Yeah, he still seems a little tired, disconcerted from the night before, but almost like. He's always been like doing some like heavy lifting or chopping wood or some shit to like get those big bustle groups moving and helping him feel a little bit better. Um, as he seems a little like his 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 tension's gone out a little bit. I think. Uh, fortunately, I. Oh, go ahead. Fortunately, I didn't learn anything really. Perhaps whatever it was will come up in my studies. Hmm. That's that's great, Arlet. I hope that you. I hope that you like it there. I, I think at that point, Rhea kind of, oh, and she slightly nudges Mina towards our legend. And she goes, Vogue, I need some fresh air right now. Yeah, congrats on your uh, internship there, our literally. See ya. And I'll grab like some hunk of bread and follow. Uh, thank you. Follow Rhea. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. Uh, well, Miss Mina, uh, but the Duke does not live so far away. You're not useless. <sighs> Thank you. But I believe I can be of more use. Learn more. So maybe I could come visit sometime. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> of, of course, uh, uh, it is not my home, but I'm sure... I'm sure you'd be most welcome in the, you know, I, um, yes. Okay. It may be a little more difficult for me to get away. But once I'm settled in, perhaps I'd be able to show you around a little bit, uh, 
where the duke lives. It's it's a bit grander than our no, own you don't house have here. To, you don't have to call me Miss Miss Mina. You could just call me Mina. Uh, all right. Huh? I will do that. He just like leans in and kisses you on the cheek. Good enough. Good enough. You know what? Good start. Good start. Well, <laughs> throw a little just throw a little like pop there and then <laughs> leave it at that. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. I'm oh, I'm going such slow a slow burn here. Like <laughs> like Bridgerton, but like it's like <laughs> nine hundred times slower. Redemption <laughs> is palpable. It's gonna be. I love it. Right. Yeah. Uh, what what do you do? Head back to Grunion Run. <laughs> yeah. Our neck uh, of the you way. take you take the walk, skipping among the. But before we go, sorry, j- just to, before we leave the the longhouse thing. All right, I know you're going to say this is a bad idea, but where do you think they took the corpse? Maybe we can find it. I bet you it's an obsession's tent. Oh well, yeah, she's like the medicine woman, eh? I don't think Obsession wants me in that in her tent. I mean, well, she won't want you in there if she's also in there. But well, I know she might not mind if she doesn't know you're in there. Exactly. But what if she catches us? Well, we run fast. Well, let's make sure she doesn't. Also, all I need to do is peek. If the corpse is in there, I'll go in. If if it's not, then then I won't. Walk away, or you, you're not curious about what it was. Of course, I am. But obsession, she called me that she said that I was unholy and she doesn't want me in her tent. Mina, what? what did you see the woman? Her beliefs are clearly far from yours. It's okay, she just might just be a bit um exclusive about her beliefs, a bit mean about it, sure. But you're not unholy for having different beliefs. What? Yeah, how did that even come she up? would see it that way. Like I said, Unholy she doesn't how? need to know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, I'll come Wait, with you. Wait, when did she you. say that? Yeah, what when, What happened? When, I, when Rhea was in there and, and I was with her and um, Rhea came back and then she, I think she tried to kick me in the head. The hell? Mina, did I mean, she you? tried to slap me, but I was being slow, so I deserved it. But you? I don't know. We can go though if you want to. I'll go with you. Just, just a quick. If you want to. Just. You don't even have to get close. Okay. She's in there, and uh, I, I won't mess with it. Vogue, this is your specialty, so Mina and I will stay alert, and you go in there, champ. <laughs> I'll pull out my furniture pad and hoof covers, yeah. slip those on, and then we'll just casually walk <laughs> and uh, see if I can sneak up on Obsession's tent and get a peek. Uh, make a stealth check as you're moving towards Obsession's... Vogue, 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 that's not great. <laughs> not great at all. Uh, you go in, and you peek in, and Obsession is there. Again, working uh, with her back to you. She does not even seem to notice you, but she is there working at her little workstation. Okay. No corpse? And you peek I'll around, take... and there does not seem to be any weird alien corpse in there. Ugh, damn. Okay. Disappointed, I will back away and uh, sneak off. Was it there? Did you see it? No. Where else would it be? Would they have taken it last night? The... How do you know they even... Right? When you look that weird, surely your interests are also weird? Probably. Yeah, he probably took it, didn't he? I think Willie was right about a lot of things. Willie? <laughs> that old man... Uh, he's old, darling. He's really old. You know what he told me? That the chemicals in the water were turning the freaking grunion gay. Gay? 
That's what I said. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I love that word. <laughs> um, okay, so do you want to talk to her? Or do you want to leave? No, no. She's okay. very ornery. She is. Woman. Do I, if I, if I, if I glance around and take a peek around, do I see love? No. Okay, then. I guess we can leave. I think the party's over, guys. Yep. <laughs> uh, you make your way back uh, towards Grunia Run. Um, beautiful, shiny day. Um, As always. The, the, the sun in the cloudless sky out well past the horizon uh, beyond where the mountains that surround Parsa are. You see this swirling dark storm that must be sending just so much snow down over the mountain peaks but none of it touched the city where you are the hours pass you make your way through the farmlands back to your home of Grunion Run are you heading to the to the town proper I think I actually need to go to the empty bike okay you guys splitting up a little bit i'm not inviting them i don't know if they're going home or not Ooh. yeah what do you want to do folk uh probably just sleep more do oh, you have something in mind no not really i think i should probably go home oh do you need help dealing with your ma i mean I don't think, but you would, would you want? But would you want to though? I mean, if, sure. We need a hand. Maybe just not a hand, but maybe just you know, emotional support. Yeah. Sure, I can do that. Thank you. All right. Uh, as you split up this party, the night. Hey, what was that? I missed that. That just sound Ria else here tonight. Yep. Yeah. As as you kind of split up. The way um, Vogue-Y and Mina would get to Mina's house first, you know, sort of traveling. Uh, and you get home, and, and your mother is outside uh, already well into the day's work um, as she's kind of, like, stops and, like, wipes her brow and turns. and uh, She sees you coming and just, like, stops what she's doing. She actually, like, is holding this bucket and just, like, drops it to the ground and just folds her arms and stands there as you're walking. Uh-oh. Hi, Mom. Hello there. Morning. And she nods towards Vo and says, Hello. Um, I'm sorry. If you were worried, I stayed over last night and we went to a party. Not just any party. Party in Mina's honor. And ours too, but... I don't think it was in my honor. It was in the honor of the hunters of the bear. <laughs> Mr. Polypore. Yes, madam. I do not want my Mina around any of the parties that you have. Am I making yes, myself ma entirely clear? I believe you are. Now, I am not a prejudiced woman, but I will not have a man twice my daughter's age given me any goddamn hooved grandchildren. Do you hear me? <laughs> um... Taking advantage of a little girl, taking her to your parties. Mina, what is wrong with you? I, I'm sorry. I'm working so hard to give I, you a better. I know, Mom, but I need my own life too. I, and and she takes off this like apron that she's wearing. She just like unties it and just throws it at the ground. She says, "I'm going out." 
finish the rest of the chores or don't. I just don't care. And she like leaves like she leaves the farm. Just like walks away. And leaves. And this is a I think a level of emotion you are super not used to your mom having. Um, and definitely an outburst that is like maybe not unprecedented in your life, but definitely very extreme. I'm gonna do the rest of the chores, vote. I'm sorry that she said that to you. <laughs> really, I've so heard worse, Mina. Behooved grandchildren to hear that. <laughs> She's got the whole wrong idea here. Fook, are you okay? Am I okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Are you, though? She's pretty pissed. Reminds me of my mom when I came home after a bender. <laughs> you still talk to your parents? Try not to. I understand. Okay. She'll come around. Folk, well, you'll watch out for Rhea, though, right? Well, yeah. I mean, she'll be fine. She's tough as nails. Been through worse than that. I'm worried about her. I'm very worried about her. I don't think she's okay. What do you mean? The way she was talking last night. It's the way that you talk when you... It's like she doesn't care. If she lives or dies... Sometimes we don't. Don't you feel the same? But I care. I guess I care about you, and I care about Rhea, and I don't want anything to happen to either of you. But I don't... And I don't want to lose you. Need come on. It's too early for this type of talk. It's We'll, we'll be fine. We made it this far. We got our two, two feet underneath us. She almost we'll died, fine. Vogue. She almost died. For real. But she didn't. Because you she were there. Did. I was there. Did. But I saw... I saw that she could have. But she could have. Alright. I... I hear what you're saying. Every day is a gamble. I'll watch out for her. What if there was something else we could do? What if we got out of here? What if we just got out of the run? And go where? Everywhere else is more expensive, harder to live. We got nothing out of, out outside the run. And as you're talking, both something catches your eye as you look towards the sky a bit. And you see um, a group of Six Aracocra flying by. They're real! Uh, Mina's seeing them! <laughs> and one, you know, a few to the back, and they're like flying V formation. Uh, this white crane looking bird man uh, turns and uses his hand and uh, salutes in your direction, and as they continue <laughs> flying. Did you, did you see him? Did, did you see him do that? Do you know that guy? No, I have no idea. It's the third time third time in like two weeks that he's flying by and waving at me. Thank you. And you don't remember ever meeting him? No, I did. I don't think I have. I went looking for him in the grove and found nothing but a talking blue jay. <laughs> what now? <laughs> yeah. Was, I was trying to get up into their branches, but it's too tall. I couldn't climb their stupid tree, but the blue jay was there. It didn't help at all. Oh, you have to cut down the trucks. Hmm? It's time. I was stone sober. I think there's just something... I think you maybe need to do a cleanse, or... What? Uh, Alright, I... That's a lot of advice for one day, Mina. <laughs> I, uh... I'm gonna hit it. You... Good luck with your... Goat milking and... Cow brushing. Vogel wave, and, uh... Try to follow the trajectory of these fucking Aarakocra. Oh... Uh -huh. Riawin finds her way to uh, the town of Grunyarun. Uh, 
And you're heading towards... Empty Bite. Uh, empty Bite. As you make your way uh, towards the bite, again, uh, going down the streets of Grunya Run, uh, having to stop as uh, Flagrant passes along with the uh, the trolley going up and down uh, the way. Uh, you cross the street, and as you're coming up, the door opens for you. The same gentleman who always opens the door just kind of nods to you as you enter. Can we give him a name? Because I really like him, and I care about his well-being. Uh, I, I might have already. Yeah, let me double check. Where's my grunion run section? <laughs> That's when you tell me he's Frank. He's been Frank all along. <laughs> no way. Fucking Frank. I don't have his name noted down if you had said it. We, we never gave him one so far. Well, Matt didn't mention it if he had a name. <clears throat> uh, his name is Raj. Raj. I, I kind of put my hand on his, uh, like... In between his chest and his shoulder. Oh, Raj, I feel like it's been forever. <laughs> good, good to see you. Not me. Wait, what the hell am I doing? Whoa, hold on. Says, <laughs> you know uh, Mina? <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah. Ah, good, good to see you, Ria. Uh, so tell me, Raj, uh, the boss today, is he, uh, is he in, a, in a good, maybe, maybe approachable mood? He went into the central city today. Oh, thank God. Around. Uh, yeah. How have uh, things been going with you? You finding work? I, uh, I was... They kind of look up at the ceiling instantly. I was kind of, uh, I, I've been distracted. Uh, I, I have oh. some of it, but uh, 50 is uh, harder than it is. It's harder to find than I thought it would be. Don't get distracted too long, you know. He's serious. He's going to want that money. But where the fuck do you, I find 50 gold pieces, Raj? Well, how much do you need? How much do you have now? I'm missing, like, around 55. Uh, I mean, 25. <laughs> Double it, bitch. <laughs> um, and as you kind of, like, jangle your pouch and, like, look in, you're like, hey, what about 20... There's something in your coin pouch. Uh, hey, Raj, hold hold that thought, and I go outside to look at it. Uh, you go outside, you pull this thing out. It is like a... <clears throat> looks like a bean. It's hard. It's like dried. It, it looks like a bean. I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice. pungent smelling. Oh, okay. oh god! Yeah, it is. It is definitely like, like has a pungent aroma to it. Ugh. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Whoa! One step at a time. Next step, I lick it and then I eat it. <laughs> I'm. I, I want to go to the the the, the guy's shop that sold uh, the opium and the spree to. To book. Uh, you turn to go and Rogers. Uh, I I'll see you. Bye later. bye. Uh, you go down the street, kind of walking quickly, uh, and find your way to do 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 do. Trinket? No, he had a he had a uh, satchel. 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 Yeah, you. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Hold on. Let me find some scene change. <laughs> Sorry, I make you move around so much, man. <laughs> okay. Um, I just don't know. I didn't have. I don't remember what's what's satchel music, guys. Funky one. Yeah, I don't. The one I was thinking is part of this thing. So. Um. Yeah. That. that you make your way to a busy part of town and you, you kind of climb up the ladder and then up this like fire escape like thing stopping at the correct floor uh, and entering in through this window door that leads into Satchel's uh, shop. Uh, 
And again, very crowded uh, as he's sitting there. And um, he's like carrying a, a crate, uh, this this gnomish uh, guy. He's like, oh, uh, hey, uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right with you. Let me let me just get this down. Uh, oh, oh, all right. Um, uh, well, hey, Satchel. Uh, hey, how are you doing? I'm I'm good. Uh, I I I came to ask questions. Oh uh, oh yeah. <laughs> what is it? I mean, you uh, see, what is it you need? I'm looking around your shop and I'm seeing a lot of things. So I'm thinking you must know a lot about a lot of things. Yeah, I uh, I think I know a good amount. I okay. I've been doing this uh, a while now. You know. Can uh, we can we go up to your counter at least? I just don't want anyone just coming in and barging. Oh yeah, let's let's make the, let me get all official. Uh, yeah. Then <laughs> he kind of like comes like goes around the back of the counter and uh, stands up. Uh, and he kind of uh, steps up on this this um uh you know like like step runner that goes around and his his head is now like above the counter. He's like, uh, well, uh, what what exactly are you looking for? Uh, I, I uh, think have you come back for that love potion there? Oh, I'm doing just fine on that front. Don't you worry. Oh, no, I didn't mean to suggest anything otherwise, certainly. Listen, um, I, fa I found this, uh, just lying, lying around. And <laughs> I show him the bean. I don't let go of it. It's in my hand, though. And I don't know what it is. And I'm curious. Let me take a look. And he actually gets, like, this, this like, like, almost like a little towel thing. It's like, and he, like, puts it down. He's like, ah, stick it here. You won't, you won't steal it, right? Because I, I know where you I live. Don't... Of course you d Okay. No, that's, that's okay. And I, I put it on the blanket. Shop. And then just one <laughs> spot. And he grabs the, this little, like, thing. And he puts it over his head. And he, um, and he starts looking at it. And he says, where did you say you found this? Just, just lying around. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I, I know you're you're into some some stuff. Hey, I, and I'm not here to judge. I'm actually here to sell it if you need some. Uh, but <laughs> <clears throat> this this stuff's on a whole other level. So so what is it? The fam. Um, you all aren't going to start pushing this stuff, are you? I mean, that seems a little a little risky no. for that, you guys, right? I, I, I just found it. I, I, it no, no, I don't think no, so. I, I don't know. I get, I get it, but I mean... But what is it? You're serious? Unless you're judging. Look... Look, I don't know who your supplier is, but um, I—I I mean, I'm not—I I am a businessman. I, I am kind of in this business, but not quite this business. You know what I mean? I—I I would stare clear of this um, if I were you, if if you care about my advice. But it so, seems like, like a little, a little much to me. I, I wouldn't. I—I—I'm uh, I, sorry. I can't. I can't touch it. I, I, you'll have. You'll have to take it. I—I I don't want. I can't have something like that found in here. You don't. You don't want to buy it. And resell no, it. Listen, listen. Uh, I, I, I appreciate uh, everything the famine's done for me and uh, the business and supply chains. And it's, it's all good, but uh, I can't. I can't be retailing Awakening. Awakening. Did I ever hear that, Matt? Roll a history check. It's not or my forte. Or a nature check, whichever. I'm bad at both, so ten. It's illegal. You've heard of Awakening. You know it's you know it's illegal. Um, or not. And, and you know it's not something that you've really come across, and it's not something that. Like. Look. Look, Ria. I I I, I can't I okay. can't have that in okay. here. Okay. How how about do you know anyone who could? You know you, you just have to give me their name and you where I can find. You could get in a lot of shit for having that. Satchel, I need, I need, that's why I need to sell it and get rid of it and gain money in I, exchange. I, I don't even know who, you, 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 does Chauncey know about this? No. I don't. Rhea, you're going to be in some deep shit if people know you have that. 
but why? Okay, so so it's 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 a drug, from what I'm well, gathering. What is it? No, 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 no! You're gonna tell me what it is. And opium, and even fucking dream. Like that, you know, you're not supposed to have it, but nobody's looking. If you do, you you can't have that, Ria. You'll have you'll have city officials so far up your ass and I'm not talking Fifi Bell I'm talking about some real motherfuckers uh, you know what I mean it okay so so what should I do then just throw it in the I, river the lake I would... no I, I don't hey that's that's on you okay satchel satchel I know we haven't known each other for long but friend to friend here Help a girl out. What the fuck I, am I meant to do with it? Listen, I wouldn't stash it anywhere. You don't want someone to find it. You get it. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bury it. That's for damn sure. I I, I would. You gotta get rid of it. Okay, but yeah. Okay, so I can't bury it. I I, I can't b throw it in the lake. What do you want me to do with it? Up to you. I don't, I don't want it, Rhea. No, I know you don't want it, but someone must want... Listen, if it's some real fucked up shit, someone's... Someone's willing to pay some real fucked up money for it. And if you know about it, I'm betting you know who's willing to pay that dirty money. No one in the run is gonna pay for that. Okay, so where? <laughs> the Central City? I mean, I don't know. Uh, I don't know anyone that fucks around with that. You won't say a damn thing to anyone, will you? Uh, no. no. If you get that shit out of here now, I, I mean, my mouth is sealed. Don't let Chauncey find out you're selling that shit. I'm not selling it. Get rid it. of it. I mean, I am, but... I'm trying to, but I'm not, but... Okay, uh... You're... And Rhea looks real awkward. They go, you're, uh... You're a good friend, Satchel. Sure. Yep. Sure. Yeah. And I take yeah. the bean and I put it in my satchel and I leave. And I I think I'm actually gonna go and try to find Boak. I'll 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 do one more scene. Sounds uh, good. I think where do you find Vogue? Under the bridge? Um yeah. Vogue's hunting air and coker, baby. Uh, okay. Are you still with Mina? Because that works. No. 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 I'm just doing chores. I'm doing my chores, baby. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, you lost sight of the Araco, bro. But wow. which direction were they heading? Uh, over the lake. So I think, Bird. actually, as you're following, um, Rio, when you see Vogue walking, walking down the street, like, Vogue. like crossing. Vogue! Hmm. Oh. And I... Ooh, what's up? Is my hope far? Not super far. No, we're going to my place. You remember that bird I told it's you about? It's not that, important, that, Vogue. It's not important. Your stupid bird that doesn't even exist is not important. Come with me. Mina saw it. It does exist. All right, then we'll talk about it later because I have something more important to talk about. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, you make your way to Mina's home quickly. Uh, Rio's. Did I, I did it earlier and I fucked you up. I'm sorry. Uh, to Rio's home uh, on the docks. Uh, you make your way there and close the door behind I you. close the curtains and everything. I sit you down on the couch. Okay. What is going okay. on? I, I, listen, another intervention. I don't know where it's from. Okay. I swear. I, I didn't buy it. It wasn't given to me. Someone someone put it in in my satchel. Okay. I think you're the bean and I show it. <laughs> what is that? Let me you see roll that. a no, no, nature no, you check. Don't get to touch it. What do you mean I don't get to touch you it? I'm supposed to give it here. No. Don't even. You don't I get need, back you up don't off need the to couch. There's no need for this to I... touch it. What the hell is it? It looks like oh. a bean. Roll a nature check to see if you know what it is. All right, let's try. And for you, it's 17. not a super high DC. You know what it is. 
Holy. Uh, she has awakening. Tell me more. This is, uh, you've never taken it. Uh, you ain't supposed to take this shit. What, what's it do? Not sure. You're not sure. You don't know anyone that's taken it. But it is something that's kind of talked about. And it's not like Dream. Like, it ain't gonna fucking kill you. And you're not sure exactly why people aren't willing to take it or, like, why it's not around. It's rare. But you know, like, the city officials don't like this shit in the city. Whereas other stuff, they are more willing to turn a blind eye, something like that. Mm. Uh, they do not want this shit in the city. Do you know what the fuck so, this is? I mean, how do you not know? It's Awakening. Okay, yeah, no, Satchel told me that already, but what the fuck is Awakening? Oh, I mean, it's like the... People say you can't take it, but they never tell you why. I think it's just to, like, build hype, so that once you finally get your hands on it, it's even better. I, I don't know, man. Satchel was real adamant about the fact that I shouldn't take it, I shouldn't hide it, I shouldn't bury it, I shouldn't mm. drown it, I shouldn't exist Satchel's with it. Fucking square. What does he know? Uh, he, sold you that, he sold you those drugs, didn't he? Yeah, but th th I mean, who hasn't sold me drugs? Come on. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> okay, Vogue, listen. Okay. <sighs> okay. I don't, I don't do this often, okay? But I, I, I don't know what to do anymore. So I, I need help. And and I I don't know what to do anymore. Well, what? I mean, do you want to take it? No, no, I don't mean that. I mean, it has to do with... I owe 50 gold pieces to my boss, Vogue. 50? Yeah, 50! What the hell did you do? I, I... I didn't find his dagger? I don't know. Well... How much? I mean, how much do you have? She she rummages. <laughs> Thirty one gold beans? pieces and one. nine sil still in my. I have it in my fins. <laughs> Thirty one gold pieces and nine silver pieces. Thirty one nine. Okay. Well, here's one more silver, so that makes another gold, so that's forty. Okay. No, that and that then... makes thirty two. What? Oh, <laughs> hang on. Thirty two, <laughs> and I've got fourteen, which is what, forty six. But well, maybe I won't give you all 14. Yeah, I'll I, don't give you want, 10. I don't want you to go broke over this. Okay. Well, then you'll... Th yeah, I can probably spare 10, okay. right? Maybe so and Make a constitution saving throw. 18. Oh, yeah! Okay. Uh, and you definitely want to try this drug. I know. But you're, a but you're able to, like, push it off a little bit. You're able to, like... Yeah. Do I know Good. this? His, We're like, hungry eyes... Um, you've been around Vogue and drugs before, so I think, yeah, I, I, think. I think I, I think I, I give you, like, not a slap slap, but, like, I kind of slap your cheek hard enough for it to, like, sting a bit. Mm. You're not fucking taking this. Uh, no, I'm, you're... I'm, I'm counting money right now. I, don't lie to me. Uh. Look me in the eyes and tell me you don't <laughs> want it. Go ahead. In I, the eyes. I won't. I, I, I want it. Look me in I the think eyes. we should take it. Let's cut it in half right now and no, take it. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen because this, if I find the right buyer, this might just get me out of debt. There's, and give me not an... An... There's not enough for two people to take it. There's one oh. dose. Of this is just like how Return of the King started. <laughs> it doesn't change what I was saying. This, this might just be enough for me to get out of debt and pay for your... A lifetime of drugs for you, okay? Mm, uh, do I know what this shit goes for at all? You don't know anyone that sells it. You don't know anyone willing to buy it. it and really? if there was someone, you might know. There might be some rich motherfuckers that are willing to take this shit, but you don't really know. You also don't know of anyone selling one dose of a of a drug that big and being able to make that much what? money off of it either. You I know, mean, like like it seems improbable. Think about this, right? One. Spree is a gold. I hit opium's five. How Not much do you hit. think? A whole ball, like a like a night's worth of opium. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. A night's worth is five. Like, how much could it be worth? So if it's worth ten, I'll give you fourteen right now. No, 
No, How about that? No, and you you're, sold it. You're not fucking taking that shit, Vogue. What if it kills you? We don't know Why what it we... does. Well, we know it's not as bad as Dream. No, we don't. I do. Oh, yeah? So what does it do then? Well, that's that. That's why... We, that, so you don't know what it does, and so you don't know if it's worse than Dream or not. I know it doesn't fucking end your life after one. Does he? Wait, Matt, is that what you said earlier? Roll his fucking insight. Yeah, yeah. That's, his, that's his understanding of it. That's Vogue's understanding. Vogue, listen, listen. I know I can be uh, permissive about your habits, but I'm not willing to entertain the idea of shoving an unknown substance in the deep far end of your throat. Is that clear? I, I don't know it's actually one. consumed um, through the butthole. <laughs> but... <laughs> no, it's actually a suppository. <laughs> the more you know. What do you want from me? You want me to look for a buyer for a drug that no one sells and no one buys? For one fucking dose? What? Listen, listen. I'm just thinking. Um, I'm in over my head. My boss is gonna come for me soon, and if he can't get to me, he's gonna come for my family. So what if, what if I died yesterday, huh? What if suddenly I'm not in the run anymore? Why are you bringing that up again? What if we left? What Can is we go there where? here? I don't know, just somewhere, somewhere nicer, somewhere... Somewhere more exciting? I lived here for 30 goddamn years and I'm still in on the same shit that I was before and I can't get out of it and I'm sick of it. I, I mean, I live under a fucking bridge. If you want to go to some other neighborhood, I'm with you. But we're just going to go broke. Everywhere is expensive. Well, we could, we could, we could find work, shall we? <laughs> I bust my ass chopping veg all day and they pay me one silver. Is that the type of work you want? No, I mean... Real work. Hmm. Okay. Well, we, we do have some money to make, don't we? Listen. The run? Bunch of brokies. No one has more than ten gold pieces to their name here. And that's a stretch even then. Mm. Outside of the Rand? I hear pockets are heavy. Mm. You know, that's not such a bad idea. I need, I really need money right now. I have this illicit substance that I need to, to figure out what the fuck to do with it. And there's no answers for me in the run, nor is there any more money for me to get. Help a girl out, will you? Sure. I'm with you. Show me the door and I'll break the lock. What else you need? They give you the biggest bear hug you ever seen. Uh, where's the bean right now? <laughs> I'll hug you back. Bitch, you only want my tracks. <laughs> so... Make a slate of hand vote. Hey, whoa, whoa! It's clenched in my fist, dude! 23. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, she has another one on her. <laughs> what? Where? It's... It's on her. So, like, she's still wearing... You know, like, this, this ripped... She has something over her, but she's wearing this ripped up dress from last night. And it's... As you hug her on her back... You notice it's like caught like in like the folds of this dress. Like it had dropped like it like it dropped from a tree almost, like a leaf like just fell. But like from this angle as you're holding her, you see it, you just grab it. Yes. Oh you bitch. <laughs> and I'll tug it between two fingers and then pocket it when she's not paying attention. Sure. Well, so, how, uh, how was Mina this morning? <laughs> you should have seen her mom. You met Sounded her? just like mine. Yeah, for a moment. She said some racist shit about hooved grandchildren. Can you believe it? Of course she did. It was kind of funny, though. Mina was upset. You think she'd want to uh, come with us? 
I mean, if I were Mina just milking cows all day, hell yeah, I'd want to come. Milking cow. <laughs> milking cow. <laughs> is, uh, so is her mother home? Uh, she stormed off, took off her apron, threw it down, very dramatic. I followed her the other day, I forget if I told you or not, but nothing interesting, just went over to the nearby farm. Unless they're like having an affair in there, but. At this point, she puts the bean back in her satchel and she can, uh, leans back on the wall uh, next to her exposition of uh, insects. Mm -hmm. Well, now's the time to talk to her about the opportunity of a lifetime, is it not? I think you're the better spokesperson between us two. Let's see this. Come on. And... Wait, wait, like, today? Yeah? What, what about... I have debts to pay, Vogue! I, I hear you, yeah, but, like, what... Your place here and everything, what are we gonna do with that? What, what do you mean? Just, like, lock it up and forget it? No, we'll be back, I have debts oh. to pay. Oh, oh, okay. But Fine. we're going on a little adventure! Sure. So uh, I, I, let's let's hit it. All right. And I know we're not doing another scene, but we're on our way to Mina for next time. Sure. Sense. You head out uh southerly <laughs> into the outskirts of the town to Mina's family farm and our next session, two weeks. We will pick it up there at level three. Oh, let's Ooh. go! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, today was so good. So, so much happened. So much drama. All right. All right. We will see you in two weeks, which is uh, November 5th. Sunday, November 5th, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Exciting. Let's go, guys. Yep, and now we're going to get a whole other plot and you find out that everything that happened right now was like a non sequitur, <laughs> that none of it matters. <laughs> we're entirely into something new. It's uh, this, it's actually, you're, it's it's like the old man in the sea. You guys are going to go out into the ocean. Just thankful. I never read it, but I heard it's just about a guy on a boat. So I think I'm just going to do that. There we go. Sick. So we'll we'll end this sure. uh, you all, all take right, care. Man. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, welcome back anytime. Bye-bye.